So I am Margit Toyats. Um, I'm an instruction designer from Tallinn Technologi uh, Technological University. And my name is Silla Vaas. I am also instructional designer and uh, learning design program uh, coordinator. So when things go well, we will be able to first uh, tell you or show you some. OK, there it is. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. So um, first, uh, before we go on, if you see the word Talte, so uh, the, um, we had some years ago the rebranding. So every time you hear Talte, it means Tallinn Techno University of Technology. And if you see these two letters LD, um, it's uh, learning design. So anyway, today, uh, what we talk about, uh, why we created this uh, learning design program, um, how does the process look like, um, what the future will bring us, and uh, then we are going to show it to you. All right, in the beginning, like the, the professional life in our university, of course, it started before, uh, but uh, the, the life for us began in began, uh, 2017 when the Taltec uh, accepted the e-learning standard. The, this document was, uh, was, uh, was established and then we started uh, with a project that was called uh, e uh, uh, e-support for all the compulsory uh, subjects. So uh, there were three levels. Right now we still have that standard. We are still using that document. The, the first level, the basic level was just minimal. Like you just uh, had to have some study materials. You had to fix your gradebook to synchronize that with the learning outcomes. Uh, you had to have some kind of self-reflection and uh, ask for feedback from the students. The second level was e is still advanced level. And uh, there we have like this national uh, competition be between universities and uh, other education institutions who want to apply. They, everyone sends their courses there and their, the good courses will get the quality label for their e-course. And uh, the third le uh, level of the uh, e-learning standard that's the highest and for us it means this course is 100% e-course and it uh, supports the independent study and uh, uh, what happened when we started with the project because it was the project it itself it was like uh, the rules and the assignments and everything was top down so the professors and lecturers were supposed to do something they had some, some of them said like, no, I, I want to write papers. I don't have time for that. And then we were knocking on their doors, sending them Excel sheets. Oh, look, you don't have these and these things done. And they, they were frustrate, frustrated. They, they didn't want to talk to us. For us, this project was hard because we were just checking the Power BI like, uh, uh, feedback and seeing how many, like, uh, red dots we have and uh, it was quite hard project to to run and to be part of but what happened like the, the it went even worse the pandemic hit <laughs> and then on that time first time with this project that ran many years uh, the professors understood all right yeah i have Oh, I have a compulsory course, I have the e-support, they understood why that is necessary. And the end was quite like happy. <laughs> then the ones who didn't want to do anything with, with all, the, all these years, who were always trying to contact and tell them that, oh, let's make consultations, we will help to fix your great book, whatever. Then they, then they came, they understood why it's necessary. And the ones who had done the, the, the courses were ready these, these professors understood the assignment that they were happy that, that it was done. And after that, we actually had a little... Uh, what? Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we had a little cap, little pause. We were able to like, finish the pro, 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 uh, pro, uh, this uh, uh, project. And then our bosses were asking, so wh what would you want to do next? 
what will be the next project that you want to do? And we said like, oh, we would like to work with the motivated stu uh, not students, but the lecturers and professors. And then we created this e-learning program that we will talk about. And it was, it, that's a big difference. Okay, um, did you mention that we are from Estonia? No, it's uh, in Europe. And uh, maybe oh. if you have heard about Estonia, we are top uh, in uh, all the digital stuff. Uh, as uh, like Sila told you, why we are, because we force our teachers to do it. That's why we are, so learn. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. our secret, like the cat yeah. is out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so about this uh, learning design program process. Um, it's still um, ongoing uh, process. It's always constantly changing, so this is what it is the most latest uh, idea. So first, um, because like we want uh, motivated uh, professors, and this program doesn't force anyone, except if you, your boss is going to force you, but uh, they have to apply for the program. So, and uh, what we don't want, we don't want the professors who are coming with empty course. Yeah, they because have when something. they don't have nothing there, then, then it's really hard because uh, the, the, um, it runs one semester. So twice a year we take new uh, applicants and uh, it runs full semester. And like within one semester we have understood when you're coming with the empty course, you still don't have time to finish everything. Yeah. So then we are choosing the courses, uh, what we, by, by all the standards we have. And also we have five departments and every, five, every department has five courses. And, but some of the departments in our university, they're tinier, some are bigger. That means the bigger are getting like, of course, more courses, but with the tiny one, I'm still knocking on their door and saying, you don't have no, no courses in the <laughs> program. Please send us at least one. <laughs> So the pro uh, process itself is that you have a personal uh, consultation with your instructional designer. And also we do some workshops and uh, seminars where we all gather all them together. And the seminars are public. So we make the opening seminar when we, when we, we just want to um, get more awareness and get more public. So I'm sending the team's invitation link to everyone in the university. And the ending, the closing se seminar, when they are presenting all the courses to each other, then this is also something that I'm sending all everyone. So yeah, comparing to the opening seminar, it's like mostly compulsory for all the professors who are attend attending the program. But the ending uh, seminar, that's like widely popular in our university. And uh, the team we are working with, us instructional designers, we have five of them. Uh, we have also multimedia experts and didactic experts uh, that are also supporting us. And what do we do? This is not the whole list, and, um, but lately what we really want to do is uh, tackle the course uh, cohesiveness, you know, con um, constructive alignment and these uh, big words. So that's why also we need some didactic experts. Um, and like we mentioned before, the courses are actually very different because some of them are already cohesive. So we can just go and tackle the, all the visual things and, you know, the, make some videos and so on. And sometimes, um, yeah, you first have to tackle. So, yeah. So then there is a problem with motivation. Like if you, you go to tackle the, the, uh, your course and you don't see any progress because it's only in some Excel table, right? So uh, if they finish our program, they get uh, two ECTs and they get 500 euros. Yes. yes. And that is motivational. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually, yeah. And uh, after that, uh, the, most of them are applying for national e-course quality label contest. And, uh, but we can't force them. This is something they have to do in the individually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the program, the, I mean, like the learning design program at it, at, as it is now, um, is going to end by 2025. And by that, we hope to have 200 advanced e-courses. So it means five, uh, 25 courses in one semester. I already told you about our team. And so far, 
today, this semester, it's our eighth semester. We have 25 courses in progress and uh, no professor hasn't uh, like quit yet. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. And uh, altogether, we have had uh, 176 courses. It doesn't really add up. I don't know what's happened, why we had in some, one, one some year are we dropping. had one. Yeah, no, some. I think that one year we had like 26 courses, one semester. Yeah, yeah, I took one, one night, one, once one, one of, yeah, I yeah. had six. Yeah, and... Um, <laughs> because I don't want my department to, like, it's technical university. It's all about numbers and percents. Like, yes. I, w I couldn't handle this, that one, one is dropping out, so I had six <laughs> courses. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, 156... Um, have finished the program successfully. And uh, thanks to that, usually if you finish our program and you apply for the national equality um, label, you get it. And uh, to be honest, Talte is most, uh, in Estonia, the best university because we have the most, uh, most professors who are applying and uh, we get most of the marks. So why, but why we created this Moodle? Because, okay, we tell about this uh, learning design program, but also we created a Moodle course for that to support our aim. We first, when we started this uh, project, we didn't have the Moodle course. We just wanted motivator, motivated, uh, motivated uh, teachers and professors and lecturers. But then I understood that uh, I, I don't have the overview how far they are and are they even doing anything like I could have one or one meeting every week but do they do anything with this like they some of the professors are thinking okay I'm gonna meet with the instruction designer she or he will do all my, all my work and that's how they were like meeting with us and that's why I made the Moodle course because then you have the progress bar and I can show in the end of the course like the ones who have all the assignments done, they will graduate. If you're just meeting with me and like, I don't want to say waste anyone's time, but they, they some, some, like I, like this is how we slowly like just motivate them and guide them to do something. And what we also wanted to do to give them the experience, like student, student experience, student, student uh, view, because like what we said, someone said in the in the beginning, the PDF graveyard, <laughs> we don't want to see these things. But if they haven't experienced this, uh, the course itself or haven't studied anything lately, only teaching, so they, they have to experience. And this way we can, give them, uh, like, they can, they can try out new plugins, what they haven't used. Like, we, we will just, like, put them in the course. We will say that you have to finish this assignment or that assignment, and that's way they, they get, like, they can experience the Moodle, like it is. So, um, the main outcomes is that, um, actually, the quality of courses, I mean, like, a, outcome of LD program. The quality of courses has risen and uh, professors are more, um, they know that they want to have the label, they know that they want to have uh, better Moodle courses. Uh, of course, us as instruc um, instruction designers, we are more popular. Now they know who we are. Now they know where to find us and uh, what we are doing. Uh, because also we do uh, different uh, trainings for them and uh, they are getting popular. And we have our own studio. We have a method methodology lab where we can experience everything. And we have our own st uh, studio. But university is so big, like some of the professors, they, kn they didn't know that we even exist, yeah. <laughs> what services we were providing. And that's why we are putting things in this course for them to experience. Before, we just asked them to make a, like a video. But now we are saying, like, come to the studio and make, let's make the video together. Like so things like this, I will ask them, like the, the course itself is always developing. Okay, and uh, we, there are some examples, um, what our courses actually look like. Maybe you notice that uh, like in Talte, we have very strong CVI. So we have like a marketing team that looks at us and says like, you need to have the certain colors. I don't know if you have the same thing, but uh, when you see, okay, this is, uh, this is uh, dark blue, but actually we have hot pink at Alte. Um, and um, uh, like they, if they have this um, 
quality label um, assessment period then other uh, instructional designers from other universities uh, evaluating our courses and they always say like you know Taltech courses they look the same they're like oh again i have again, seen that like before this, this was <laughs> but like, for us it's like okay that's that's what i want uh, i want the students to know where the assignments are where the like things are in the course but the other instructional designers oh all your courses they look the same and i'm like yes <laughs> I'm just like showing. We make name cards for them uh, with Canva, and uh, and also what like when they get the quality label, then we just add it to the banner, or we add it on the on the right side. This is just like example uh, where where this quality label of the quality e-course has been added. Yeah. So what will future bring us? To be honest, we have no idea. <laughs> Uh, because uh, we don't know what's happening after 2025, uh, because then this program ends, and I don't. We don't know if we, we don't have funding, funding for yeah. the <laughs> after this. We only have funding until 2025, and that's why we are here. We want to share what we have done, and then someone maybe can use it. But overall, um, as I've heard, like people, like um, leaders, they think that it's a very good idea to do something like this. And um, there are some options that we are thinking. And uh, actually, today we also got some ideas what we want to do. Maybe uh, first, for example, to add some maybe some this kind of uh, modules more. The professors can choose what they want to um, uh, learn. Maybe f with uh, AI tools and of course uh, learning analytics and how to use it uh, um, for your course to make it better. Uh, then we had thought about uh, making this 100% um, uh, e-course. Because we have one year. We know that we have funding until next year, so this is what I personally want to do. I want to make that course uh, uh, self-paced, so it's 100% uh, e-course. And then if we are not like... Uh, we're not having the funding, it's still like they, they're able to study and get the feedback, automatic feedback. And uh, right now the course has been developed in a way that we together do it. Like all the assignments, I'm guiding, we are guiding them, we're doing everything together. It's just a course where we can, you know, they, they see their progress, that, that's it. But uh, to make it totally 100% uh, self-study, uh, uh, then we have to make a changes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in Estonia, hot topic at the moment is general competences. So um, this is actually something that uh, we really also have to tackle with our course, but we will see. And of course, to uh, use uh, students to engage the, the Yeah, right now we have only one assignment. It's feedback assignment where we... When, uh, the professor has a chance to ask uh, us to go to the classroom and ask feedback from the students or somehow engage the students in. I have asked, uh, like we want to yeah, engage more students into the course making. Okay, so but now uh, we'll show you. We had actually a question, like do you want to see, but we will show we you. Can, we can uh, give them the core code. Oh, right, school code, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, of course, uh, you also, um, it's not a scrum, uh, but you can... Do you want you... to see the course? <laughs> like I said, like, this yeah. not the, that's not the option. Like, yeah, we will cool. show you <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I just put this... Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, <s> shall... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now... Okay, there is something wrong with this, but... Um, can, you, can you open it? No, I... Uh, no, let's do like this. What? Yes, I. Yeah. Okay. There is no presentation mode in this. Hey, no. Sit on your Okay. Yeah. See. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is what we are showing you is not actually the real course because we can't really show it to you. It's like I can't give you the open access. Uh, but we will show you what it, the real one looks like because it's in two languages. It's some in are, English. Some haven't opened it. I can see one guy is still trying to. But it's okay. We can, you can get, get it later. We will share it. 
and uh, it has it's in two languages in Estonian and in English. Yeah, I think everyone has it now. Okay, okay. and yeah, this is oh, this is a real one. Uh, you see? Hey, wait, no, you can't see. Oh. Okay. Oh, we can. Uh, we have extended, extended. We have extended. I think there's an extended. Money. Oh, we 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 see the course, and you see the course right now. Yeah, let's put it back then. One second. Yeah, that will happen often. Don't extend. Anyway, uh, you can see that uh, okay. so it's meant like this that every two weeks we have another module opening and they have to do some assignments in one module and sometimes the assignments need us to make a workshop for them to guide it through and then we do it. Doesn't like something. <laughs> it's fine. We can take questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They, they, they can see the course. Yes. Yeah. Maybe in, mob, in mobile uh, phone, it's not maybe the best view, but... Uh, yeah, we are using... Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's not intended for mobile. Yes? Yes. Have you planned in the future to do like... Uh, um, a biggest change, like a full team of Moodle for your class, like restyle everything and rework also the navigation. This is what we do in the, uh, this course itself means that the professors are coming with their course and we have one full semester to work with their course actually. Okay. So all the assignments they have to do, they have to upload their syllabus. It's their own syllabus. They have oh, to no, make their yeah. like video about their course. It's that course that they are anyway teaching. All the assignments, there, there are no random assignments. They're okay. all like necessary. Is your gradebook uh, ready? <laughs> that means like, uh, do, is it fixed? It, it's working. Okay, I was more thinking a design yeah. point of view, like a team, like a, a full design of it. Like when you, you do like a team like in WordPress, it's like a custom like visual thing that you implement the... Your but sometimes we, okay. if a professor wants, you know, they have their own personal needs, why they come to this program. And like we have our own assignments in, in, the, in the course, but uh, if they want to redesign all the slides, all the assignments that they have, we will do it. They, okay. they come to the course and they have their own ideas and we have one full semester to work with their course. So that's why we said like the, the list of the things what we do, they are personal, you know, because some, some, some of them want to make like interactive videos, we will do it. Some of them have, they, they just don't have, they, they haven't uploaded their syllabus for a long, long time. No cohesiveness, no like um, um, learner, could it say, students centered, student -centered uh, learning outcomes. So we, have, yeah. And that's why we have also people who help us. And sometimes, you know, um, we start something, uh, some break, 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 somehow we, yeah, okay. Uh, somehow we start something maybe bigger with the course and actually we don't finish the main idea. So we continue second semester. So it's okay. Like it's more important that the, the courses are cohesive. They are um, for students so they can learn better. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for sharing. It's very inspiring. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, I noticed that you have ECTS, so that's European credits, and you have two European ECTS, so that's around 60 hours mm -hmm. per year. So how do you link those ECTS with their professional development? Uh, they can use them. 
you know, it's in the system. So they get the credits and it's in their system and they can use that for accredi accreditation or whatever they, they need. But they, it, where this 60 hours comes from, we are, every week we have a personal consultation mm -hmm. and extra we have workshops. So it is 60, they do more than 60 hours. And we had to write that down because some of the professors were thinking, okay, I will go, go and get the money and credits uh, doing nothing. No, no. <laughs> you have to do the work. Okay, thank you. Yeah, in Estonia, unfortunately, oh, you have a question, okay, sorry. I don't have any question. I just want to say that it's very inspiring and I hope you will get your funding to just continue the project. So good job for that. Thank you. And uh, and if you want to download that, contact us. I didn't, uh, I had some technical issues because like the original course is so big. <laughs> so I didn't upload the SCORM package because I, I was thinking maybe I will, you know, fix it, make it tinier because we have it two languages and a bunch of assignments. But I can, I can make a copy of the one that I am just writing now I'm, I'm showing you. So I was just thinking I will hear, talk, <laughs> whoever, who, whatever idea you have. Yes, we believe in free education, so we can share and you can reuse it. Okay, thank you.